Today's <sighs> paperwork is as hectic as usual. It's been three days in a row. How am I supposed to survive this week? Man, I could use a good break. Sensei? <laughs> oh, Kiro, what are you doing here? Slack off? <sighs> I wish I could. But I need to finish this match as soon as. <laughs> Wait a minute. I was in the office a second ago. Oh, you prepare sandwiches. Don't mind if I do. Wait, I do mind. Where am I? What am I doing here? Slacking off? I don't even remember accepting your invitation though. Whatever, since I'm here already. But seriously though, how do you do that? Today's guide video will focus on the tank commander of the Pandemonium Society, Natsume Iroha. She's one of the members of what is basically Gehenna's student council. She gets annoyed easily and she wants to slack off at work. Although Makoto, the president, would always dump ridiculous tasks to her just to annoy the prefect team. Despite all of this, Hiroha's sole motivation to carry out her duties is Ibuki, the mascot of the club. I mean, who would resist to protect this precious XD face? Alright, I think that's enough for us for the day. I got piles of paperwork awaiting for my return. Don't pull that witchcraft to me again. Oh no, not again. Oh yeah, sure, I got time. Wait a minute, no, I don't have the time. Get me out of here. Let's check out Iroha's stance. She's a tactical support who wields a handgun that has increased damage on indoor areas but is decreased on urban areas. At 3 stars level 83 with tier 7 equipment and low affection bonus, Iroha has 3,977 attack, 103 defense, and 33,531 HP. Racing with a 5 star EW30 will increase her attack and HP by 1,934 and 6,669 nice, respectively. Further raising her exclusive weapon to level 50 will provide an additional 1,410 attack and 1,171 HP. At relationship rank 20, she gets an additional 68 attack and 400 106 HP. She uses Wobsec and Winnipesaukee Stone as level up materials. Her equipment is composed of a hat, a badge, and a watch. This equipment set enables her to get more critical damage, subcritical chance, and extra evasion. In comparison with offensive-oriented tactical supports, namely Hifumi Swimsuit, Cherino Onsen, and Ayane Swimsuit, Iroha has the second highest attack stat and the highest HP stat. Now we've seen the overview of her stats, let's see if she's actually good by checking out her skills. Her EX skill is called Let's Go Toramaru, and this skill summons Iroha and her tank on the field for 55 seconds, and her attack is increased by 11.2% to 38.5%, depending on the skill level. Every 15 seconds, Toramaru will activate its skill, Main Cannon, Aim, Fire, and this skill fires a shell that deals 279% to 377% damage to a single enemy, and this shot splits and hits two more enemies with the same damage up to two times. This EX skill initially costs 8, but it can be reduced to 7 at level 3 and to 6 at level 5. It's important to note that one tactical support can only be deployed on the field at a time and Taramaru can use the skill up to 3 times. This skill is powerful in dealing damage against multiple enemies, which can be used to easily clear waves in PvE. This skill also works on PvP where Iroha can potentially hit and defeat every single unit from the enemy team. And in the Perozilla raid, Iroha became one of the core units due to her ability to nook multiple minions at once. Her basic skill is called What a Pain, and for every 40 seconds, whether Toramaru is deployed or not, Iroha fire shells towards up to 4 targets, dealing 43.8% to 83.4% of AoE damage, depending on the skill level. This skill compensates for Toramaru's lack of AoE at the expense of its low multiplier. Her enhanced skill is called It's Inevitable, and this skill increases her attack by 14% to 26.6%. Based on her 5 star level 83 with EW50 stats, this skill will further increase her attack by 2185 at level 10. And finally, her sub skill is called Get a Grip, and this skill increases allies' attack by 9.1% to 17.3%. Take note that this sub skill of all specialists don't affect themselves, and tactical supports do not receive sub skill buffs from specialists. However, they can receive most buffs and healing from her teammates. Iroha's kit proposal on summoning Toramaru on the field and letting it do all the work. So, her EX skill gets the highest priority. This is followed by her sub skill to make her function as a stat stick and then her enhanced skill and basic skill. 
Iroha's exclusive weapon is a Walter P38K pistol that was issued by the Pandemonium Society. She's too lazy to name her weapon, hence it was simply called the Pandemonium Service Pistol. A 2 stars on hand skill is upgraded with an additional attack by 330 to 627 depending on the skill level. At 3 stars, her affinity on indoor areas is upgraded to SS. Iroha is a very strong unit that can target and nook multiple enemies. So, it's recommended to raise her rarity to 5 stars. If you can afford it, then go ahead and raise her EW to level 50. Let's see if Iroha is actually good by pointing out her strengths and weaknesses. Just like her fellow offensive tactical supports, Iroha can deal immense amount of damage while she's on the field. In PvP, she can potentially burst the entire enemy team with her tank. This is of course if the enemy Sabaki got critically hit or Hoshino and Yuka have low HP. Because of her offensive capabilities, She's one of the top picks in PvP, not only in indoor but also in fear. She's also one of the core units of Pero Rosilla Insane. With her tank skill, she can knock out multiple Pero minions at once. Since her ES skill can hit up to 7 enemies, she can take care of most waves in PvE and special armored assault drills. Despite this, what about her weaknesses? Remember that the tank skill hits multiple enemies, but it's not AoE. She may have an AoE basic skill, but the firepower is not that potent and it's time-based, so it may be unreliable if you are constantly getting pressured by large waves of mobs. Also, you might need to invest on your skill to level 5 in order to make it cheaper, but this is not really an issue if you want to make the most out of her. Just ready your credits, Gehenna books, this, and her materials, and you'll be fine. Despite being a solid PvP unit, she may encounter problems against Shun, Hoshino, and Iori. In field PvP, Shun can easily snipe the tank in 2-3 hits. In some cases, Hoshino and Iori can get near Iroha and decimate the tank in a few hits. In conclusion, is Iroha actually good? Well, she's not good. She's great. Iroha is viable in multiple types of content. Raids? You got her in Perozilla Insane. PvP? Very powerful against red and blue armor. Joint exercises, blue armored assault drills are easy for her. In PvE, she can easily clear a small wave. Despite having the capability to hit multiple enemies, unlike Cherino Onsen, her kit is not focused on AoE, so take note of that. Since deploy tactical supports can still be buffed by most skills, buffer supports can help raise her damage. In Perozilla, Akko is probably her best partner since their sub skills don't conflict with each other. And that's it for Iroha's guide video. Iroha is a very powerful tactical support that provides impressive DPS in exchange for its high cost and the lack of AoE. Because of this, Iroha can be considered a better Cherino Onsen. She may see her job in Pandemonium as a pain in the ass, but when she's out with Toramaru, there's no one almost no one who can stand against her. So, what students should I showcase next? Leave your suggestions down below. If you want more Blue Archive content and streams, go ahead and subscribe now. And I also stream on Twitch, so give it a follow as well at twitch.tv slash That's it for now, and that wraps up my recording. What's left is to edit the video. Ugh. But before that, we could use a nice break. Right, Iroha? Huh. I guess she gave up for today. Well, 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 what should I get for dinner? Oh, man, no sorry. Oh, Iroha, you still here? <sighs> oh, right. You're telling me that you convinced me to forget about work and slack off. <laughs> well, bad news, that's not a case. In fact, let's go grab ourselves dinner. Oh, how about that restaurant that you found the other day? Salty. 